My name is Carlos Madrid, and I'm an architectural designer at AECOM here in Los Angeles. AECOM is a very large company, it's 50,000 people. The project types we do are very diverse, from schools to airports, office buildings, it changes all the time. And my role is to design these buildings. For the most part, people think design is all the fancy componentry that you can put onto a building or the aesthetics of how it turns or bends or folds or what color it is. Design actually is, more importantly, how functional is the building and how appropriate it is for the people that are using it. I like to think of the working mom that is there experiencing eight hours Monday through Friday in that building. And it's not just the inside, it's the outside. What kind of spaces can you deliver back to the user? Does the cafe become a conference room? Can you have a meeting outside in a park? Can you have the meeting on the roof of the building? One of the projects I recently completed was a classroom and office building for USC on their health sciences campus. We thought of this project as a micro campus in which we needed to give them outdoor space, park space, places to dine. The goal of that building was to put as much natural light, as few walls as possible, so that everyone was in an open environment which we think develops better thinking. Being that we do such large projects, there's not much room for experimentation. You have to be very responsible with your decisions that you make. And that may s sound very confining and, and boring, but I think once you understand that, then it opens up the doors to be much more creative and open-minded. You really have to understand what you're doing. What are you designing for? Who are you designing for? I try to get into the client's mind, what they want out of a project, and then that lets you tap into the creative end. I think someone who would be a good architect is someone that's creative, but then also someone who is rational. It's only 50% talent. The other 50% is your character and your personality. You need to be engaged with people that are different from you and in different parts of the world. You need to communicate, you need to speak, you need to project yourself, you need to interject yourself. My network is not Los Angeles, it's not California, it's all over the world. The types of projects are very diverse that I work on here at AECOM. We can build cities. We can come in, plan the infrastructure, the freeways, water plants, energy sources, down to the architecture. For the projects I do, which are very large scale, I definitely need the team effort and the group that I work with. I cannot do this alone. I think that my biggest learning curve that I'm going through right now is how to deal with all the different types of personalities, including my own personality, and, and how you keep balanced and positive. And I think the ultimate goal is that you want to inspire people. You want to inspire your staff. You want to inspire your clients and enlighten them to see things in a different way. I'm extremely proud of what I do. I'm always amazed and proud of the staff that I work with. Everyone is very respectful of each other. Everyone is very supportive of each other. What I'm most proud of is when you finish a building and it affects the people that are utilizing your building, that it makes them proud, that they're proud to go to work every day, or they're proud to say, this is where I work, this is, this is my home. That is probably the most gratifying thing.